Hey everyone, Akshay here and you're watching TechFinder. So recently I've done a video where I've told you how you can install the Android Pie beta version on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Well, there are a lot of people facing issues with this upload. In this video, we'll talk about how to fix the Android Pie beta error and also if you want how to roll it back. So without any further ado, let's get started in this video. To install the Android Pie Beta, you need to have the security update of 1st December 2018. If you are having the previous update that is November or if you are having the January update, it's not possible to update it by using the file which I have given in the description. So if you already installed the January update, it's not possible by using that method. You need to flash the stock firmware for the summer update. Well, I'm gonna tell you in this video how to do that. This method will not void your warranty and it will not trip your NOX so that you can use the secure folder, Samsung Pay and all the applications that rely on NOX. Well, the procedure for installing the stock firmware will remain same for all Samsung devices. So when you install a stock firmware, your device becomes a new one that is good and even if you break your device, it's easy to fix the soft break devices. First of all, you need to turn off your phone. You need to have these three files and here you require a software known as Odin and also you need to have Samsung USB drivers. Everything what I'm talking about in the video will be available in the description. You can get all these files from the description. Well, the Samsung mobile is pretty much a reliable source and you can download your firmware from here. So once you open it, it will ask for model number. So here is the model number. Well, the model number will be different if you live in different countries. Well, I live in India, so my model number is FF5D and this is what the PD and CSC versions are there. So you need to go and click on that thing. Uh, well, if you're in India, it's good. It would be really helpful. And then you need to go and download it. I've already downloaded the file, so I will not download it again. Next, you need to download the Odin version that is 3.13.1. And once you've downloaded all the files, something similar will look like. Now install the USB drivers. I've already installed the USB drivers. You can use a program known as 7-zip to unzip it. It's easy. It will take some time because it's a large file. Now we will flash or just avoid this warning and here the Odin 3 is now next thing is that you need to put your phone in download mode so it's very easy to get into the download mode for that you need to hold the power button big sweet button and volume down button at the same time and let me show you here just hold it for two to three seconds and it will show warning a custom OS can cause critical and something like that just press the volume up button and boom we are in the downloading mode. Now next you need to connect your phone to your computer and once you have connected you will see that it will show in the COM port that COM3 has been added and it will show ID number and it will show added. Once it is added you are good to go. Now what you need to do is next is that you need to open the file the stock firmware file and just you need to upload the BL, the AP, the CP and CSC files. So now go and add the CP file also. It will take some time and sometimes it will show that it is not working. Well, it's not responding. Well, leave it like that. It will be automatically added. Now the fourth file is CSC file. I need your attention here. Before doing anything to your phone, I would highly recommend you to back up your data. Just restart your phone again and just go and back up your data if you are doing this. Sometimes possible that you go in loop mode and it would be very difficult to get it from there. So it's highly recommended to back up your data. Now there are two types of files I have already talked like the home CSC and CSC. The difference is that if you install a home CSC, if you upload a home CSC file, uh, the, your user data will not be erased. But if you install a CSC file, it will be from the beginning and I would highly recommend you to use a CSC file. But if you want, you can even go for home file. So it will again take some time and once it's done, you can see that everything is tick mark. Now go and click on the option button. There should be tick mark in two of the settings that is factory reset time and auto reward. Do not touch any other settings and do not go for pit and all everything. You should not use this tab. So you should not go on to this tab. Just go for auto and factory reset. Now you can see that tick mark on every of these files and turn on. Once you see here, now just go and click on the start button just have ensured that you are in the com port and your phone is in the downloading mode which is pretty much recommended once you've done that go and click on the start button now it's installing and uploading the files on your phone and this process is gonna take some time 
So we will come back once we have finished this process. It will take roughly around 10 to 15 minutes. It shows it's been passed. So it means that it has installed the stock firmware on your phone. And your phone will be in the boot state. It will install the system update and all the application which will take some time. So once it goes around 33% and something, it will just flash your phone and it will do the stock firmware update. Boom. You have seen that it's on 32%. It has formatted your phone and erasing all the data. Now we will be able to boot our phone with the stock firmware soon. Well, if you are in this stage, it means that you have successfully booted and you are ready to experience your stock firmware in few minutes. So here we are in our phone and it's been already been done. So you can see that it has installed all the apps and everything and the backup will be installed. Go to settings and about phone and to your software information and you can find that it has android version 8.0 and samsung experience 9.0 So a lot of people are asking if I want to roll it back to the oreo update and how to do that or if the pi stable update will come how I can update to that well, if you've already installed the Android Pi beta update, once the stable version of the Android Pi comes, you can update it directly. So if you want, you can roll it back by using the second method. And in the next video, I'm going to tell you how to roll it back by using that method. But now for instance, if you want to roll it back, you can use this method. It's pretty simple. It's just like doing the factory reset, but pretty hard factory reset. So you can roll it back and you can even install the latest Pi update also by using this method. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and catch you in the next video.